Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you may be. Welcome to Oregon Springs and this little mod review. Today, the 19th of March, I am Farmer Min. What we have here is a couple things. Um, interesting things, to say the least. Um, one of them here, I think, is a very detailed um, slurry spreader, slurry injector, I should say. This is the Coeco Double Twin Shift package. This is by Wobster, Zentro, Niggles, and Katsu. I hope I'm pronouncing them right. What this says is the Coeco Double Twin Shift is the most professional way to inject your manure. The Double Twin Shifts make themselves indispensable by their huge volume, filling capacity, capacity, maneuverability, and their well thought through chassis. Now, these things are spendy. Get the checkbook out. Um, this is 103,700. Um, has a working speed of 20 kilometers per hour. Has a capacity of 14,000 liters. And will cost you eight, 80 euros, dollars, whatever, a day. If you go into the store, you will find them over here under slurry tanks, and they are right here. The Coeco Double Twin Shift and the Opti Drill. So between the two of them is going to cost you 118700 for 14,000 liter um, injection unit. Now, let's compare them to some other ones. The Pagliari, which came out not too long ago, is 68500 and that has a capacity of 25000 So, let's see, is a Zun Hammer thing on here? Yeah, this one here, um, 48 plus 28, 76, is my math right? 76, and that'll give you 18,500, so you can compare the price. This one is spendy. Let's go back over here. This is spendy. 103,000, it just seems like that is a lot, a lot of money. Um, if you click on this one, you are going to have options. You have a main color option between these two colors. You have a wheel option between standard and Nokian tires. You have a rim color option between red and silver. And you have a design color between black and standard. Okay. So if you look at my two here, um, this would be the one color option with the red rims and the black design option. So you don't really have this yellow, uh, yellow, I'm colorblind. This orange stripe here, I am assuming. This is standard color with standard tires and standard um, design option. This would be the other color with the other color rims, Nokian tires, there you have them, and the black option. Okay, so basically the Opti disc just attaches to the back, just kind of like any other thing. Um, so let's take a look at it. I mean, detail-wise, I think it is pretty darn cool. Um, lots of detail went into this. You can tell some time. I mean, I mean, there are a lot of cool add-ons that you wouldn't necessarily have to have, but it it looks pretty darn realistic. Um, you know, even down to some wear spots where it would wear in when you turn, the tires would hit the uh, frame here and rub against that. Attached PTO shaft. Um, hoses don't attach, but they are there. Um, you do have this loading uh, pipe, as you want to call it, which is um, maneuverable. I'll show that in a second. Uh, you know, look at this. Almost like an air regulator thing on the on the tight whoops there's my chainsaw I don't need that I'm just trying to kneel down here a little bit so you do have that um, you know details look good they look crisp they look sharp um, you know fenders lights I mean it is pretty cool um, I do have to say I really really like it except for the cost I really really like it on the uh, front here you do have a gauge that is animated that will move as you fill it um, I just filled both of these up from the uh, the slurry bought by mod just a little bit ago so you do have that so let's take a look at them 
hop in the case magnum here um, so if you have the tank selected you have um, a couple options number one if you use the um, the uh, L1 and the right mushroom you have the uh, unloading or loading pipe thing that um, you can use so that is there we've seen that before um, a lot of them have them so that is that okay now the next option you have is L1 and X which is going to be extend ax axles so take a look at the axle here the axles are going to widen out you know more stability so that's kind of a neat little thing and you know look you can even see the um, the wear marks on the frame there where the axle is extending so that's pretty cool and I would assume like um, oh is there a look at that I didn't notice that the first time or maybe oh I was gonna say is there no that just sees through to the other one it almost looks like there is another Oh, there is look at that there's um three tires on there that is interesting huh I didn't notice that I try to get a look yeah oh four well what am I looking at there's four so that is that's pretty neat I never noticed that um, yeah so when you extend the axles out you can see you have um, four tires on there that's pretty cool okay yeah so there you go there you have it um, I was saying, like, you know, you most likely would have to extend them as you are driving, kind of like a uh, sprayer would. Probably wouldn't want to do that setting still. But that's that. So we hop back in here again. We'll start the tractor. So you got your uh, axle spread out. Um, if you select the uh, opti disc in the back, you could just fold that down. Okay. Now, once you lower that, it is going to start. Okay. However, if you're not moving, it's not going to go. I think I think there are some that uh, no matter if you sit there, it's still going to keep spreading out. If you are not moving, you are not injecting slurry. Once I move, you start injecting the slurry. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, if you just happen to stop for a tree or a, a cow in the middle of the field or whatever, uh, yeah, you can. It, it will stop. So, just hire a worker here just to go. So, yeah, looks pretty cool. 10 uh, miles per hour here with this case magnum. Um, did I say what the working width is on this thing? I think I did. I'm going to have to double check here. Um, working width. Oh, it didn't say what a working width is. Let's just go into the store and see if it does say what a working width is. Working width is 6 meters. So, 6 meters. Not too shabby. That seems to be pretty, pretty standard with them. But you know what? That's kind of a cool thing. Um, for some reason, it has stopped uh, injecting the slurry. Why would it stop injecting the slurry? What did I do wrong? I drive myself. Now it's injecting the slurry. Okay, that seems to be working. I hire a worker. Oh, I, I, duh. I tell you, I must have it. Oh, yeah. Fertilizer, buy. Buy. That's what was going on. I'm thinking, well, what was that going on for? Well, that's the reason. Okay, so there you go. That is pretty neat, pretty cool. I kind of I like it, except for the expensive cost. Um, I kind of like this thing. I, I love the detail on it. I love all the little intricacies and the... The added um, stuff on there that normally wouldn't have to be on there. The spread axle is is actually kind of cool when you think about it. The ability to do that um, six meters is not not too bad. Um, but yeah, now it's going to lower down. Those wheels will hit, and when those wheels hit, then they spin. That's pretty cool. I like that. So I kind of like that. I, I, I really do. I think that is that is pretty neat. But I, I think that's about all you can say about it. Um, besides the options in the store uh, there you go so that is pretty cool well let's look at the second one the second mod which is a um, lizard log shield kind of an interesting one and I do have some mixed opinions on that okay 
Here is the Lizard Log Shield. You will find this under Forestry is where you will find this Lizard Log Shield Log Tool. It's $800. Uh, yeah, no maintenance, or $5, or $5, euros, whatever, a day. There are no options on this thing. Now, I got it to fit on a front loader, and also a three-point. So you see I have one on the front, one on the back. I could not get it to fit on a um, wheel loader, telehandler, or skid steer. So right now, those are the options. Um, kind of pretty standard just attaches you do have the two the two cylinders on each side that move in the um, the arms the fingers whatever you want to call them the grabs and you do have the back which is like a solid shield so you know that's pretty neat it looks like there was some um, effort in here to put in some uh, tear and wear marks um, but yeah that's pretty simple so let's take a look at it I did cut down a few trees here and this is where I'm a little, little torn, torn by it, okay? Because if you look, oh, I should also say, I'm sorry. I should go in here and read the description. This is the homemade log tool for loading and loading of wood for smaller and larger pieces. Uh, this is by A.S. Agri, okay? So, if you go in here, let's say I want to pick up this little log, okay? I'm going to pick up this log, I'm going to load it on a trailer, or a log trailer, or whatever. Uh, just like a front loader, I can tilt it, you know, what have you, okay? So, then I would get down here and I would use my R1 and my um, right mushroom to open and close the fingers, arms, whatever you want to call it, okay? So now I got it, there, it's there, I pick it up. This is what I get. A lot of this jittery, moving around stuff. Okay, and eventually it'll stop, perhaps. And I don't have the fingers very tight on there. I really don't. Um, you know, eventually, if I try to squeeze a little harder, it just... What, did I go the wrong way there? Let's try that again. Okay. Kind of got it. See, it's, it's, tough, it's tough to grab. Um, kind of do it like that, maybe. See, there you get the, the jittery stuff. There I have it. Yeah, and eventually it just kind of jitters and... If I get it tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter, you know, there's as tight as it goes. So, for that size log, I'm a little... A little disappointed, I should say. Um, I thought it would have done a better job on there. Um, you know, I like the shield ID in the back. I do like that. I do like the two fingers. But it doesn't seem like they have the grasping power. So there I can't even pick it up. So let's just try a smaller one. You know, maybe it's for, uh, you know, smaller logs. The stuff that uh, you're not going to um, pick up with other equipment, whatever. So let's see. Let's just try this one. Um, I'm going to get out here and I'm going to cut this off just a little bit. Oh, come on. Oh, come on there, chainsaw. There we go. My chainsaw is having difficulties today. I, uh, I'm sorry. Okay. I don't need that chainsaw anymore. So now I'm just going to pick this one up. Let me go to this side because I'm this handed. Okay. There we go. I got her. I'm going to squeeze the fingers down. The problem is, I it's like they're not long enough, okay? So I have trouble picking it up like that. So if you have to kind of come up like this a little bit, if I get a good view, like that, then I'm going to squeeze them together. There you go. Seems like I got it. Okay, I got it. And this is much better. You don't have um, all the jittery stuff. It seems to be kind of clasped in there. And um, I could uh, move it around. Let's see. I got it kind of on center on there. You can see it still has that balancing thing to it. But it does seem to work um, on the uh, smaller stuff. The same thing with the uh, rear one here. Um, it's going to work the exact same way. 
it might be a little harder to to get it um, attached because you can't because uh, you well, there you, you can a little bit so this one might be just a little bit difficult let's see if it'll clasp so there you go so that does picks it up <laughs> I mean you're not gonna be able to uh, to drive around much uh, with it sticking out like that but that's how it works that that's what it does um, wish it had a little bit more grappling power for the um, bigger size logs I really wish that but that's how it works that's what it is 800 bucks um, take it or leave it and then of course the Coeco if I'm pronouncing that right um, awesome thing love the detail um, love the ability to to set it down and without moving it won't um, inject the slurry I like that spendy though gotta be uh, ready to rank uh, to uh, fork out the big bucks for this thing but that's about it that's all we have today um, hope you enjoyed the video found it useful entertaining maybe even a little helpful if you did I'd give us a like I'd appreciate that and if you haven't subscribed yet please do that as well but from Oregon Springs have yourself a great day and keep me between the ditches so long